Hey guys, it's just a video on how to do the RF board. Um, I've already done half of it, I've already soldered it to the RF board because of um, my old Xbox which broke. So this is a new console here. Anyway, so you're looking at this in reverse. So once you've soldered the ribbon cable to this, you want to split it into the rows of um, pins. So I've, there's six on the top and um, seven on the bottom. So you want to do that with the cables. So that's the seven. And you just want that to correspond with the motherboard down here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and solder this. Now you want to pre-tin your points to make it easier. And you want to be careful not to bridge the two pins together like that. So, um, you just want to do this for all of the pins, shouldn't take too long. You don't keep bloody bridging them. Now if you do bridge them, it's kind of hard to unbridge them, as you can see, but basically you just want to run your iron between the two bridged points and it should unbridge them. I guarantee you, you will bridge a few points. Okay, now that's it, that's done. We can solder the um, RF board to this. Um, so, if you imagine the RF board's going to be plugged in like this, so it's going to be easy for you solder the bottom um, pins first so then you can go straight over the top with the other ones once again try not to bridge your points as it's annoying and can damage your system also, if you're having trouble, try um, pre-tinning your wires. So depending on how good you are at soldering, it will change how long this takes to do. And uh, you want your soldering iron on high. Oh, yeah. If you have a variable heat one, have it on basically the highest. Because this unleaded solder that Microsoft has to use because of the law is harder to melt. So now this one I'm attaching is ground. Okay, now onto the next ones. Now you may need to bend your cables a little bit or you can before cut your 
the first line of them a bit shorter. Okay, almost done. Now I find this easier than making your own connector with the RF board that's very hard to solder to those little pins. Last one. Done. Okay. So now you want to um, cover this up with a bit of hot glue um, and test that it works in the end. Um, if it doesn't, just try desoldering them and redoing it. So um, next video is probably going to be the video wiring or the wireless wiring. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, not too long till the next video. Bye.